it's 23 degrees here in lovely Maine, Auburn, Maine. Um, so, let's see. Yesterday I had a baked potato, and I know that they're high in carbs, but um, I'm trying to introduce all kinds of different things. I did have mashed potatoes the other day, but I had a baked potato, and it actually went down really, 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 really well. Um, I was afraid because, you know, baked potatoes just have that, that consistency. I mean, I did obviously chew it and, and all that and, and made sure that and it wasn't chunky or anything. Um, but it wasn't bad at all. And I, uh, I also had chicken from a can. Um, that's so mushy. So that's not, I didn't expect that to be a problem. Um, and it's not dry or anything. I mean, I chewed it up extra, extra, extra well. Um, so that was, that was my dinner yesterday. Um, and so it's going smoothly. Um, I'm going to finish the baked potato today. Obviously I didn't finish it. Um, I didn't even eat half of it. It was very, very little, but, um, I'm going to eat some more of it today and then I'll throw it away because it's not going to be good after two days. So, but that's what I did yesterday. So things are progressing great. Um, no issues. So I have been trying fair life milk. And it's lactose free. I know it's lactose free, but it does a lot to my belly. And in the beginning, it actually gave me diarrhea, but it made my belly like gurgle a whole lot. Like I had, I bought the little um, Fair Life shakes to be able to drink in the morning because it's got lots of protein in it. It's got 15 grams of protein in the little bottle, and so I was. Um, you know, like I, I wanted to be able to drink those in the morning. I'm not a big milk fan to begin with, just an FYI. Like if I never had to drink any milk, I was fine. Like when I had my cereal, I didn't drink the milk in my bowl, you know? And so that's why I chose almond milk because I don't really like the thickness of milk and the, the, the way it makes your mouth taste you know, afterwards, it's kind of like a chalky, nom, 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 like, taste. So, I always stayed away from milk. Milk was never my choice, and that's why I liked almond milk, because I didn't have any of that afterwards. Not that I just sat there drinking cups of almond milk, because I didn't do that either. Fair Life is just like regular milk. Um, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's, it's a product from Coca-Cola, and um, it's with a, another small farmer. I did a lot of research on it to make sure before I drank it, because it's not cheap, that it was not just like a gimmick. Um, so basically they add, they do a lot of filtering of it. It's lactose free. They add um, extra protein and all kinds of other things in it. Um, not all kinds of other things, but protein um, to, to like boost it compared to regular lactose free milk and almond milk. So it's got 15 grams of, well, 13 grams in the regular one, and then in the little shakes, they have 15 grams um, per cup. Not the little one. The little one is just 15 grams, but in the regular milk, it's 13 grams per cup. So, I um, I really like was wanted it to, to like it, but I, I really don't. It just tastes like just like milk to me, so I really don't like it. Um, but it is a good milk substitute. But in the beginning, it would make my stomach like gurgle and it gave me diarrhea. So I don't really know why it would give me diarrhea since it's lactose free. That doesn't make any sense. So it's just essentially dairy, you know, milk. I mean, just plain dairy and there's no lactose in it. The only thing I can think of is that it was just a new something new totally new to me like I didn't even have it before surgery so something totally new to me that I was introducing to my body that just you know was like whoa what the hell is this um, this is a lot of nutrients natural nutrients so that's the only thing I could think of today I had another shake like I've been drinking the chocolate fair life a chocolate milk fair life 
a little every day and the the gurgling and the, the the intestine and all that has gotten better and so today I drank the shake and it wasn't as gurgly as it was yesterday and I didn't have to beeline it to the bathroom so you know I just think it's something that my body's got to get used to with all of reintroducing all of these nutrients and foods into my body um, and like I've said all this time it's like we're babies at this point so you have to revert back to how that is you know so the first couple of months of being a baby you know you're drinking straight breast milk or formula you know that's where you're getting all your nutrition from and then you're introduced to cereal and then you're introduced to mushy baby food and then you're introduced to finger food and then you're introduced to regular food so it's a stage just like that and so you know we don't have to wait months because we're not babies but we do have to wait you know a couple of weeks to get our system back into the routine of things and you know, I mean, you don't have to wait six to eight months before you start eating mushy food or, you know, that type of stuff. But you do have to, you know, give your body time to adjust. And you have to slowly reintroduce stuff because, again, everything has changed. You know, essentially, you could potentially have changed your taste buds and your likes and your dislikes. So you have to slowly introduce things. You can't just introduce everything at once and then... You don't know what's making your be your belly gurgle and, and, and question what the hell's going on. And I know because I've only been introducing one thing at a time. So, you know, like I had mashed potatoes, so no mashed potatoes work. The, the baked potato was just because it was a little more, it wasn't, you know, it was just a different texture to what it was. Um, and I didn't want to use instant mashed potatoes. A baked potato is all natural. There's no dehydration. There's no nothing, you know. So I wanted to try how that worked. And that was, it was excellent. It, it did not um, cause any, anything at all. Um, I think I, I, cause I was, I had a, a couple of drinks with it. And then I realized what I was doing. So I had to stop doing that. Um, but other than that, it, this is just a learning process on how to eat. Now, I so want to introduce spinach and kale, but I will wait a little bit more for that. Um, I so miss my salads, but I will wait a little bit more for that. Um, but so, you know, it's just introducing all these new things. And, um, you know, so this weekend I will do, you know, the ricotta bake and then um, you know, the refried beans, and I will slowly introduce all of this stuff um, as the time goes on. I'm handling everything else that I've tried so far fine, and um, which is very, very exciting, very exciting, and even the eggs, so that's, that's a wonderful thing um, that I can do that. I did work out yesterday, which felt so good to work out again. Um, I did a little bit of cardio and I did some arm um, exercises without any weights. I, I did not use any weights. Um, and it felt so good and I'm going to work out again today. Get some workout in there today again. Um, today I'll probably do some legs instead of some arms and then I'll do arms tomorrow, you know, upper tomorrow. Like I used to do where it was leg day and, and upper day. You know, bottom and upper, I'll just, you know, I'll do it that way again. So today will probably be, you know, leg day and, and I'll pick some videos and work out the, the glutes and the thighs and all of that and, and do all of that today and, and get some dancing going. Um, so that way I'm moving and, and getting that. So now that I'm eating, I can do that because I can work out and then go and eat something that has substance in it so that way I have um you know the nutrition and it'll probably be a shake and a meal like I did yesterday um which is great because you need that protein to boost 
the, that muscle building after a workout, whether it's cardio or weightlifting, you need that protein in there to, to boost that muscle to get rid of that fat. Um, and so that's what I plan on doing, which is exciting. Um, and I'm doing all this at home and not going to the gym. I'm doing all this at home. I am looking for a treadmill so I can walk at home because if you don't already know, I live in the state of Maine. So 10 months out of the year, <laughs> 10 months out of the year, you really can't walk outside. Like it's 21 degrees right now. Um, there's no way that I would be able to walk out here uh, for a long period of time and not have an asthma attack or, or hypothermia. People do do it. People do do it, but I'm not built like that. I cannot do it. So, um, you know, from September all the way up until Mother's Day, essentially it is cold. Um, I am not I'm that much of a wuss where if it's, you know, 50 degrees outside, I won't go for a walk. But if it's 40, 30, or 20 degrees, I will not go for a walk. So, um, I would like to have a treadmill so that way I can walk um, other than just pacing around my house. I would like to be able to walk on a treadmill. So I'm looking for one of those. And I don't want to spend an arm and a leg on a treadmill. I just don't. I don't know. I, you know, I don't want to spend any more than 50 bucks on a treadmill. So I'm not looking for anything that, you know, tells you you're the best and keep going and all. I, you know, I'm just looking for something that moves and all that. So the lack of iron that I learned that I have is, is a big big indicator. I blamed being tired and sluggish on recovering from surgery, but in all actuality, it was recovery from surgery and low iron. So I'm going to do some research and see what I can do to boost up the iron with what I can eat at this point in time um, without having to take a vitamin because I really don't want to take iron pills. I hate them. They are not tasty. Um, they don't feel good in your stomach. Um, so if I can find a food or something that will be, provide me that nutrient without taking the pill, I'm going to. Um, so I'm going to do some research on that. That's it really. Um, I, there's, I really don't want to talk about anything that's going on in the world. I don't want to talk about anything that's going in politics or I don't want to talk about any of that stuff. It's irritating. I'm tired of talking about it. Um, it's almost Christmas. And you know what? I'm not even in the Christmas mood. I'm not in the Christmas spirit. I am not. I mean, I've done Christmas shopping. The necessities that I have to buy. Normally this time of year, I'm holly jolly with the freaking headband. With, you know, to all that. And this year, I just don't have it in me. I don't have it in me. I am not all about it yet. It, it doesn't feel like it at all. And I don't have it in me at all. Um, I uh, just, I just don't. I'm just like, eh, eh, eh. Financially, I'm not able to buy a whole lot, which sucks. And, and I, I hate. Um, but I just, I'm not feeling Christmas this year. I think this is one of the worst years ever for me because normally I'm all about it. Normally once I put up the tree after Thanksgiving, that's when Christmas mood sets in and I'm just excited and, and ready to go and I'm not feeling it. Just not. I'm just not feeling it. So um, I am looking for a second job. I will be... Um, you know, doing things to get a second job, which will help a whole lot with the movement and the exercising and getting all of that done. I can't wait. Hopefully I get one soon. Hopefully somebody calls me back. And I've looked for places like I, I'm not looking for like another sit down job. I'm looking for a job that I'm going to be moving. So like I've applied to like Lowe's and I've applied to, you know, JCPenney and Kmart because I want to be moving. I want to be standing. I want to be moving. I want to be, you know, I want to stay busy. I don't want another sit down job where I'm just sitting all night long because I already do that for eight hours during the day. I don't want to do it for another five at night. 
I know it's going to make me tired, but that will be my workout. That's, you know, instead of going to the gym and working out, I go to work and I work out. That's what that would be. Um, and so that is really what I want, I'm, I'm trying to do. I know a lot of companies are not hiring because it is the end of the year and Christmas is almost here and, you know, they got a lot going on, but some companies are and, and maybe somebody will give me a shot. I really need the second job. Um, so that's what I plan on doing there. Um, doesn't change videos though. Still have plenty of time to do videos in the morning or, you know, after work or whatever. Um, and that's it. That is it. You know, they say that, um, summer bodies are built in the winter. So this is a perfect time for any of us who've had that surgery in the winter time to build that body that we're looking for. Um, you know, of course we're not going to be perfect by summer. We're not going to be, you know, six pack. Some people may, but, um, you know, some people won't. Don't beat yourself up. Just remember it didn't, you didn't, you didn't gain the weight in a day. You didn't gain the weight in a week or a month. It took a long time to put all that weight on. So it's going to take a little time to take it off. And with this tool, it's going to come off a little bit easier, but you still have to put in that work. You still have to make the proper food choices and you still have to work out. You have to move regardless. You have to move um, because all you're doing, if you're not exercising, if you're not walking, if you're not doing things, if you're not staying active, all you're doing is just losing muscle and fat. And all that's going to do to you is just make you a weak, thin person. You have to move. Um, I will probably do some videos, post some videos of me working out, um, just so that way it's some, you know, some ideas of what, what, what to do. Um, I will um, maybe I'll, I'll record this afternoon's workout. I don't know. It depends on what I, I where I'm, what I'm doing. Um, or I'll have to plan that out and make sure that I have devices to record. Because obviously I need one to watch the video to do the workout. And then I need another to record me. So um, I'll have to plan that out. But I, I will definitely record some of my workouts. And um, maybe my hubby will join me in some of them. But we can do this. You, We can do this. And even if you're just watching and you're not doing the sleeve and you want to lose weight, you can lose weight on your own. You don't have to have surgery to lose weight. It was just my choice to do something that I wanted to help me lose and keep the weight off. And so you can do this. And if you guys ever have any questions or want any information or you need anything, you know, don't feel, you know, just shoot me an email, you know, don't, or, you know, a comment or something. And uh, I have no problem answering what I can or, you know, looking stuff up and helping you find what you need none whatsoever so you know what I say the best investment you can make is an investment in you what are you investing in you today I'm gonna try to stay warm <laughs> I am going to try to stay warm today um, I've been freezing for the past couple days so I'm gonna try to stay warm today that's my that's what I'm investing in me um, so you guys have a great Wednesday I hope it's sunny shiny and wonderful wherever you're at and I will check in with you tomorrow